Hi guys, I'm Michelle from Virtual Hand Care, and this video is a second part video to my top five hand and wrist strengthening gift ideas for someone that injured a wrist, broke the wrist, maybe had a surgery. So this video is dedicated to showing you how to actually use the items that you got. So if you're the one that received a lot of these items, welcome. I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple of exercises so that you know what to do with all of these. Now, if you didn't catch that first video where I show you all five of these gift ideas, then do check out that video first here. Okay, let's start with our first gift idea and that is putty. So depending on where you're at with your strength, you can choose whichever resistance level that you have. Now, there are so many exercises you can do with the putty, but for this one right now, we're gonna focus on doing a little bit of grip and a little bit of pinch. Now, if your loved one did not tell you to be careful with the putty, then I'm gonna go ahead and give you a quick disclaimer because it can get into carpets and sheets and all kinds of things. So do make sure that when you're not using it, you go ahead and put it back in the container. First, just get used to doing a little bit of gripping with that putty. And what I like to do is not just grip it, I actually like to squeeze and then manipulate it around and squeeze again, manipulate it around and squeeze. And I like to kind of combine a little bit of that in-hand rotation, which can be a little hard when you've had a hand or wrist injury. Because most of the time you're just working on grip and we need all the fingers to be able to manipulate and, and we need that dexterity. So you would wanna go ahead and do this squeeze and manipulation anywhere from three to five minutes and do set yourself a timer because sometimes you can lose track of time with the putty. Now the next exercise is actually working on a little bit of pinch strengthening. So what you would want to do is just use your three fingers, your index, your middle, and your thumb, and you want to do a little pinch and pull of the putty. And then go ahead and push it back together. And pinch and pull, kind of like taffy. You can do, keep doing that pinch and pull, pinch and pull. And you can continue to do that for three to five minutes as well. Now I do have another video that shows you a lot more putty exercises that you can do and I will link that here. So now grab that flex bar that you got in your gift bag. I really like the flex bar because you can work on your grip, you can work on your wrist strength, you can work on forearm and shoulder. There are a lot of exercises you can do with a flex bar. And I do also have another video with several exercises and I will link that here. So bring that elbow at your side. We're gonna work on some forearm rotation. So say your right wrist is the one that is injured. You're gonna grab the flex bar. Your left hand is gonna stay put and you're gonna go ahead and kind of twist and, and bend the flex bar up underneath your other hand there, if you can. Now you wanna make sure you're nice and controlled coming back up. So the good thing about the flex bar is you have to control it going both ways. On that concentric contraction, and on that eccentric contraction. So you have to control that and it's working muscles on both sides of that wrist and that forearm. And this exercise works on supination. So that's turning your palm up. So you're actually getting some strength and resistance with your palm up motion. And so then the next exercise, you would turn your palms up now we're gonna work on strengthening in pronation. So you're gonna go ahead and grip that flex bar, and now you're gonna go ahead and rotate up and over your left hand and back. Now if that's hard to do, you can rest this down on a table and you can do these exercises with your hands rested down on a table. And again, you would do this nice and controlled going both ways, bending the flex bar, feeling the resistance of the flex bar, and then relaxing, and back over, and relax. 
feeling the burn, nice and controlled motion, making sure this doesn't hurt at all. So if you can only go this far, depending on the type of resistance level you have, if you can't bend it that much, don't push it. Just do what you can. And then you would wanna go ahead and just repeat about 10 repetitions, working up to 20 to 30, and doing that once or twice a day until you feel like you're getting stronger in that wrist. Okay, next on our list are exercises using the TheraBand. So just choose whichever resistance level is right for you if you received multiple resistance levels. So you might just kinda of have to play around with that. Now, if your band doesn't have a knot in it, go ahead and just tie a little knot. I just find that that's a little bit more comfortable and you don't have to really grip as hard with the TheraBand. And that way you can really just focus more on the wrist. So with the putty, we worked on grip and pin strengthening. And with the flex bar, we worked on some forearm supination and pronation. With the band, we're gonna work on a little bit of wrist curls. Now, if you're gonna go ahead and do this on the edge of the table, I do recommend to grab a pillow just because it can be a little more comfortable on your wrist. And you can do this a couple different ways. You can step on the band so that you have a little bit of resistance or you can hold it with your other hand, whatever is comfortable for you. So the first exercise that you can do with the TheraBand is gonna work on wrist extension. Grab onto that band and then you're just gonna work on extending that wrist or bringing that wrist back and then relax it forward and back and relax forward and back and relax forward. And with this exercise, you wanna go nice and controlled up and nice and controlled down. And you don't feel like you have to go through like a full range of motion, just go within a comfortable range of motion that you have right now. And you would wanna repeat that about 10 to 20 repetitions, and you can do that once or twice a day. And then our next exercise with a TheraBand is to work on wrist flexion. So then we would just turn our palm up, grab that TheraBand. You can wrap the TheraBand around your hand a couple times if you'd like. And again, you can step on the TheraBand or you can just hold it with your hand and provide a little bit of a pull or a little resistance. And then you're going to flex the wrist up and back down and flex up and back down. And so we're working on strengthening our wrist in wrist flexion. And again, nice and controlled up and nice and controlled down. And as long as you're seeing some good contraction in that forearm and in that wrist, then you know you are working those muscles and tendons. And again, you would do about 10 to 20 repetitions, one to two times a day as well. Okay, now we're gonna use that weird looking thing called a power web. You might've been wondering, what in the world am I gonna do with this thing? So the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna work on a little stretching. So you've done a little bit of strengthening stuff, so let's get a little stretch in. So what you wanna do is place the power web either on your lap or maybe at a table. Take your hand and you're gonna go ahead and place it flat, fingers open, onto the power web. And you're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of push, straighten that elbow, spread those fingers and your thumb apart, and really feel a nice stretch. So the point of this is to not overstretch and not push the pain. So don't feel like you have to push too hard with this. If it's too intense, back off just a little bit and hold for 10 to 20 seconds, maybe even longer, and then relax. And again, spread those fingers out and that thumb out, and push and stretch. Feel the fingers stretching, thumb and wrist, maybe even up into the forearm, holding a good 10 to 20 seconds and then relaxing. And you can do this stretch in a couple different planes of motion too. If this doesn't feel good to be this vertical and you don't have that much motion yet, then go ahead and just kind of 
tip it a little bit, or maybe set it on your lap. And then that way you don't need as much wrist extension yet. So you could then just kind of work on pushing and then slowly work up where you are pulling that power web up to where it might give you a little bit more of a stretch. But really start at whatever angle is comfortable for you. But again, with those, you would wanna hold those stretches a little bit longer and then do about 10 repetitions of those once or twice a day. Now, another exercise that you can do with this is to do a larger type of grip strengthening. With the putty, I love the putty because it helps you work on pinch and more of that tighter squeeze of grip that you need. But with the power web, you can open your fingers up wide, your thumb up wide, put your fingers in those little holes and try to squeeze all the way through the resistance of the web. That way you are working on a much larger type of grasp. Not everything that we need strength for is small, right? Sometimes we have to pick up a big wad of wet clothes out of the, out of the washing machine. And so for that, you would just go ahead and spread those fingers as much as you can and really just work on curling and trying to bring them together and open. And you have some variety in this because you can turn your forearm and work on grip in more of a neutral forearm. You can turn your palm down and work on grip that way. You can turn your hand palm up and work on grip that way as well. So you would do 10 to 20 of those as well, once or twice a day. But as you can see, you have a lot of versatility with stretching as well as different types of strengthening that you can do with this power web. Okay, and then that last gift idea is a massage ball. Now, after doing all those exercises, you might be ready to be done strengthening. So you can use the massage ball to just kind of roll out any little tender tight areas you might feel along the hand. Maybe if you had a surgery, you might want to do a little bit of scar desensitization you can lay that massage ball down and just kind of massage down into the forearm. And you can turn your palm up and then target the back part of the elbow, more of that extensor side. We've worked a little bit of everything today. Do some palm down and then you can massage the front part, more of that, the flexor side. And you could just kind of sit there and massage, work into the hand, into the wrist, and just do that for whatever feels good for you. Now, one other thing you can do with the massage ball is not really use it as a massage ball. You could actually use it as a way to increase your speed and reaction time by just doing a little bit of ball toss or a little bit of catching, throwing up in the air, and just kind of working on that reaction time that we can lose when we've had a wrist or a hand injury. And there you have it. You have got a great workout. You've got a lot of great equipment to work on your hand and wrist strength after your broken wrist or your wrist injury. I do hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. And let me know in the comments how you felt with these exercises. I wish you luck in your recovery. If you are looking for more exercises and ways to increase your hand and wrist strength, then check out more of my videos here. Thanks for watching.